I'm going to test the max temperature you get with the new uh, Workos TS10 Max. Also check out the uh, original TS10 and see what kind of max temperatures we get on turbo before they ramp down. I'm going to use the stock batteries that come with them if you buy it directly from Workos. Uh, so the new uh, TS10 Max comes with this rechargeable battery. It's a good bit longer than the um, other batteries are. So uh, right in here it's all got electronics that'll uh, charge the battery directly from it without having to externally plug it in. Um, don't know if that makes much difference in how much heat's produced at the end of it, but you get your battery heat build up and you have this level here that may run a little bit cooler. So it actually might help uh, keep it from overheating as fast. These things are supposed to ramp down when you get to uh, 60 Celsius, uh, like 140 Fahrenheit. Let's see if that is the case here. eighty three Fahrenheit right now turn it on double click at the turbo it's not jumping up super fast it's bringing it on up the lights already ramping down though didn't last terribly long. See if it'll actually get anywhere close to that 140 temperature. Um, this was a fully charged battery, so at the very tip of it, looking at 106 down on the body, still in the 90s. So it didn't take long before it ramped down really quick and is down to about a looks like somewhere between a medium and a high on the temperature scale. So the regular run temperature, you're looking at around 105 degrees with it once it ramps back down. Um, not terribly high, not as high as I remember the uh, original TS-10 being. So let's check it and see. Four and a half. Hold it till it goes all the way, maxes out. That's ramping up quite a bit faster. See it dropping down, but the temperature still got pretty high. It's not a very big flashlight, so it uh, doesn't really have much metal to dissipate the heat, but it is coming down. Enough to get really hot in hand, but uh, not enough to really burn you unless you really held it on the end for a long time, and I doubt it would do any damage to your skin. So. Um, Really, they never got anywhere close to uh, what the max is in them at 140. Uh, that's what they say with the new max version, uh, what you can expect it to uh, start ramping down at it. Ramp down quite a bit before that, so all the way back down to 93 by now, just sitting there for a while. I'm going to turn this on one more time and see what we get again. It's on turbo now. Checking the body, checking the head with it. It's 
Yeah, it's ramping back down now. Temperature's still going up a little bit. Yeah, 110 right at the end here, 111. Definitely gets pretty hot. As it ramps uh, the light intensity down, that's dropping back down here. So it's keeping it below 110. Nowhere near the uh, 140 that it says it, the max it'll go before it completely ramps down. So it looks like it's really, once you get to 110 Fahrenheit, um, it starts to back off and lose power. So. 110 is where it's sort of sustaining itself. It sort of ramps the light down to keep it in that range. 111.3 uh, is the max that we got out of it on it. So not super hot. I've seen quite a few other flashlights hotter than that. But just wanted to compare the two and uh, see what we ended up with. Both are pretty hot little flashlights, but... Nothing extremely terrible. I wouldn't worry about getting burnt with either one of them. Uh, so if you uh, like this video, please like and subscribe. I'll try to make more content on these in the future. Thank you.